All right, as you can see, this is a program called FlowCrypt. It's an extension that you can get for the Chrome browser. It comes from the Chrome Web Store. As you can see, it says it's with PGP, and you can use it with Gmail service. Now, the good thing is, is this is the easiest extension I found for PGP. Uh, most of them are, are a little bit complex to set up. You got to learn the vocabulary to understand what it is they want you to do. But this is pretty straightforward, and so pretty much anyone should be able to easily set this up to use with Gmail. Okay, from what I've read, it says that you can, I think it said you can use it with Yahoo Mail too. I'm not sure. I've read so many I can't remember. But there there are other extensions and other ways to use PGP to use with pretty much any email client, chat, whatever. Encrypt pretty much anything. So now what we're gonna do is you can go to this and see as you see it's already added. But you would click add to Chrome like you would to any other extension and accept the permissions and it will install. As you can see it's very well rated too. It was called Crypt Up as I recall. Let's see. I installed it back when it was Crypt Up. Let's see. Yeah, formerly Crypt Up right there. Yep. Okay. Anyway. Once you've added it to Chrome, then you will see a little square, a little green square up in your tab bar with a little white dot. And I think you have to go through it. I know if I go through here, it'll say set up crypt flow. So, all right. And now we'll go about trying to set it up. Okay, you choose the email account you're going to use it with. You have to click Allow. It's been about a year or more since I set this up, so if I seem a little sluggish, please forgive me. All right. Okay, so you could set this up to use a PGP key that you already have. Uh, but just to make this easy, we're going to click New Encryption Key. Okay, we're going to click on it. Okay, choose a very long passphrase. For example, combine uncommon words like unconventional blueberry, unlike any other. You don't want to choose words that are from common phrases because they have dictionary tag methods that uh, a program will cipher through in a matter of seconds to pop passwords that are you, that are that are made from common phrases okay all right so I'm not going to really pick a, a very complex one. Let's see. Oh. Well, scuba along a 
long line will make it on winter. <laughs> okay. Alright. Time to drag. Okay, you gotta remember your passphrase because you'll be using this. Because like it says, loss of this passphrase cannot be recovered. Note it down on paper. Uh, you know, something like that. Okay. Wells. Scuba in winter. <laughs> Just something. Ah! Uh, oh! did I do? I'm going to have to try that again. Okay, we'll, we'll use another one. Okay, Wells, Scuba, and Winter. Okay, alright. Let's set passphrase. <laughs> Wells, Scuba, Winter. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to compose an encrypted email. Okay, so you pick somebody that has an encrypted email uh, set up already. And there's somebody that does. Subject first encrypted email. You know, I'm going to get rid of that one right there. Eh. Better not. Okay. First test email using GP encryption. All right, great, awesome, super cool. It's been sent. So now I can go to my email here and check it. Ah, oh, there we go. And the, as you see, the program has unencrypted it automatically for me. So not complex at all. And if you saw it just for that brief moment, it was just a bunch of gibberish that nobody in the world would have been able to read. And this program pretty much automates it, makes it very easy for you. I know it's probably driving some some hardcore PGP gurus nuts about how you know you're supposed to know how things work and you're supposed to set really really super secret secure passwords and blah 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 but this brings the power of PGP encryption to most people I'm sure some people probably still have some problems with using this but it wouldn't be something that somebody couldn't sit down with them and try to go over the steps and explain things or at least set it up for them and then teach them how the system works and then implement it on their day to day life. Now, why is all this important? Sometimes there's information that you need to exchange with somebody, and you're not going to want anybody to see it. You know, maybe you want to send a piece of confidential information about your loved one's health, but you don't want anybody else to be able to read it. And so if you send it like this, then if they happen to try to get into your email, uh, intercept the message somehow, they're not going to be able to read your email. 
Over and over again, we see hacks where people's emails have been compromised and hacked into. And if they had their uh, emails encrypted, then unless the person had a way to unencrypt it, then they wouldn't be able to read your email. It'd just be a bunch of gibberish. So I hope that explains it. Now, okay, now for the next thing. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, well, that's another program, Mail Envelope. Well, Mail Envelope is another really awesome program that works with a whole bunch of mail providers. And it is very simple and easy to set up as well. And if you need help, let me know. You can go to mytoptechs.com and uh, contact me and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Uh, let's see. Now there was a program here. Well, we'll just go here. Well, let's see. Uh, okay, we'll go to this tab. All right. All right, now, uh, it, this program is Windows PGP. Uh, GPG for Win, there it is. Okay. Can't remember the address. This is a very awesome program. If you are on Windows and you really want to know the power of PGP, this is what you get. You click on download. Now, I highly recommend you support this project with whatever monetary support you can do to help these people out because they really do some awesome work. And I, well, my company, Affordable Business Solutions LLC, has sponsored it in the past. Uh, so you can click, they start with 15, you can go 25 or set your own amount that you would like to donate. You can choose monthly or one time. Uh, but just for the sake of this demo, we're going to click zero, and then you would click download, and then it would start an automatic download for you. And if you want to learn more about it, you can click about GPG for win, and you get to see a little bit more. Now. Cleopatra is the certificate manager, and this is what it looks like. These are some PGP signatures that I've used in the past, and you can, let's see, hmm, okay. Okay, new key pair. All right, you click new key pair, and you, well, so you would click on open key. Let's see, name, name. Okay, you'd put your name, Steve Hagerman. And uh, let's see, Steve at cut above host net. Let's see what the advanced settings are. I would set a stronger key bit. Authentication. Click OK. All right, next. Create P 
pick a passphrase. Have messed up. It didn't look like it was the same. All right, okay. Okay, all right. Let's see if they match. Boom. Okay, the first thing you want to go to do is make a backup of the keys. And, uh, let's see. All right, now, let's see. Okay, all right. Okay. The secret key has been exported and backed up. Now, you can send your public key by email to a friend if you want to share your new, or you can upload it to a directory service, which is how you find... Uh, PGP keys for people that you want to email. Yeah, see, whenever I got started in PGP, I didn't know a whole lot about it, and so I ended up with more PGP keys out there than than I should have. <laughs> All right, continue. Okay, now let's see view redisplay. And if you see right here, here's the new key that I created. And it has no expiration date like the other ones do so if you want to email me email me using that PGP key and as you can see you can change the expire date on it or the passphrase it's already published look up on server Steve Hagerman. Okay, this is the very first one, and I had to create it because Network Solutions back in those days used PGP keys to authenticate you so that you could change details about your domain and such. It was a very, very big pain in the neck. And here's some other ones, other tests I've done and such. Here's one we created today. And the different domains. This is whenever I had advancedisp.com for my domain. And we digress. But this is Cleopatra as part of the 
GBT, GB, GPG for win and uh, it also has the alternative certificate manager which has more like a dome interface